It's just all been a complete drop of the ball on my end. Um, I have complete lost faith in. It's just all been a complete drop of the ball on my end. Um, I have complete lost faith in the justice system. Who told you I was coming here? What black yeah that hold on to your seats because we've got some jaw dropping updates about Bluefist. Just when we thought he'd be tasting freedom, it turns out he's stuck behind bars for much longer than anyone expected with fresh lawsuits piling up and a dramatic feud with Soldier Boy brewing. Bluefist's story is more scandalous than ever. His mom is blaming his wild love life for all the trouble, and the drama between his baby mamas is off the charts. Is there any hope for Blueface to escape this legal nightmare before the end of the year? Stick around because we're diving deep into the chaos and uncovering all the juicy details we won't house AR us. That's all we want is for him to be at home and help with these kids. You see what I'm saying before diving into the revelations from Blueface's lawyers. Let's unravel the chain of events that landed him in prison discovering why he was imprisoned, what his sentence entailed, and why he was expected to be released this week is crucial to understanding the full story surprisingly. Blueface's legal troubles are a story of spiraling chaos interspersed with unanticipated drama. In a surprising turn of events, the genuine player will end up in jail, looking like he's heading to the Himalayas. Blufus's first run-in with the law related to a probation violation shortly after the new year. The specifics of the violation are still unknown, but insiders hint at a complex web of infractions involving altercations and legal stuffles tied to his turbulent personal life. His probation violation was serious enough to earn him a year-long stint in county jail, which is scheduled to end in early July 2024. My sentence will be a minimum of 24, maximum of 60 months, and Dev Department of Corrections suspended with probation not to exceed 36 months. The roots of his legal issues, however, run deeper. One of the most notable incidents that marked his downward spiral was a brutal brawl at Skinny's Lounge in the shockingly evident tape depicts Blueface striking and stomping on the defenseless bouncer. The confrontation led to serious injuries for the bouncer and significant legal ramifications for Blueface, who now faces more accusations. Adding fuel to the fire was an incident in Las Vegas where Blueface found himself embroiled in an attempted murder case. It all started with a poorly received joke at the euphoric gentleman's club leading to a violent confrontation. As the victim tried to escape, Blueface allegedly opened fire on his vehicle, leaving the man with a bullet graze wound. This led to his arrest for attempted homicide, further complicating his legal situation outside of Vegas nightclub. When a white pickup truck drives by, he then pulls out his gun and fires multiple shots in the driver's direction, who swerves across the road while trying to dodge the bullets as Blueface turned himself in his personal life continued to unravel in the public eye. His mother, Carissa Saffold, has been vocal about the negative influence of the women in his life, specifically pointing fingers at Chryson Rock and Jaden Alexis. According to Sappel, the charges against her son were a direct result of the chaos these relationships brought into his life. She expressed her heartbreak on social media, saying my baby is in jail and my heart is broken again because they don't listen in a heart-wrenching twist. Blueface's legal troubles have also resulted in public feuds. His ongoing fight with Soldier Boy took an unexpected turn when the latter made fun of his incarceration and publicly ridiculed twist, asking him if he would rather be broke and in jail or free and worth millions of dollars. Just stoking the flames of Blueface's problems, which are already blazing. Hi, my name is Yamam, and I'm from Bern, Maryland. I find it annoying when I see things like this because it seems like an instance of a famous person losing their mind despite all of these obstacles. Blufus continues to be the center of media interest. What no one expected was the support Blueface received from Christian Rock, who stood by him despite the mounting legal challenges. His appearance at a Los Angeles Clippers game with his son, just days before turning himself in, 
shows a man trying to maintain some semblance of normalcy amidst the chaos. Video of him surrendering to authorities has been widely shared on social media, keeping fans and critics alike on edge and wondering what the future holds for the troubled rapper. Her defiant posts on social media promising to stay loyal and even hinting at more tattoos in his honor added a layer of personal drama to an already intense situation. And I thought like when he go to jail, you know I was just going to be like, all right, cool, great. But then as the story unfolds, Blueface's legal team is scrambling to navigate the complex web of charges and court dates his best hope for an early release lies in the possibility of jail overcrowding a common issue that sometimes leads to reduced sentences. Until then, the rapper's fate hangs in the balance, leaving fans and observers to speculate will Blueface manage to claw his way out of this legal nightmare, or is he destined for a prolonged stay behind bars as it became known? Everyone expected that Blueface would be released this week, but everything is not so simple. In fact, his legal battles seem to be far from over a deep dive into the events from a month ago. Reveals that contrary to hopeful predictions, Blueface will remain in prison until at least next year. A poignant layer to the story is added by revisiting the courtroom drama from April. What an emotional cries and rock brought their baby to the hearing. In a rare display of tenderness, the judge allowed Blueface to hold his son, marking the first time in months that he could physically connect with his child. I stood in the back with the baby, but it's crazy because that's what I did the last time I went to court, and the judge let me do it again. The emotional toll that Christian's Instagram account of her sadness and bewilderment is taking only highlights the personal toll that the rapper's legal troubles are putting on him and his family. Oh, Chunky, his hair is falling out and his beard is filling in a little bit. He was delighted to see you, but was upset that they let you in. According to his manager, WAC 100, Blueface's financial and legal troubles had surfaced, which ended any hopes of an early release. Blueface faces a severe financial problem as a result of being ensnared in a web of debts and financial responsibilities that are adding to his already heavy load. Black 100 disclosed in an open interview, his financial condition is terrible due to the combination of legal bills and the losses incurred from canceled gigs and endorsements. Interestingly enough, a whopping $13 million verdict against Blueface for the shooting event at the Ecstatic Gentlemen's Club has severely damaged his assets, adding to his already dire financial situation. The club, which had to close after the incident, sued Blueface for lost revenue. The court decided in their favor, holding Blueface accountable for their losses as a business. Additionally, fresh allegations have surfaced, shockingly adding to the gravity of his position. As of late, Revelation Blueface has been charged with a robbery that happened in Las Vegas. According to the allegations, he seized the victim's phone beat her and then returned it to her. He gave the phone back at the scene, but about 30 seconds later, he was hit by a robber. This incident happened at the Palms Casino Resort during a tumultuous night when feelings ran high and violence broke out. Blueface and Christian Rock were both involved in a physical conflict that resulted in serious charges that further entangle Blueface in legal issues. According to the police report, which describes a chaotic scene. The robbery violates the California case for which we recently received probation. This raises the question of how long can Blueface withstand this relentless barrage of legal and financial challenges because it was a probation violation. That is, he went back to Vegas when I told him to stay away from the city. And we were fighting at the time. Remarkably, despite the mounting pressures, Blueface has managed to maintain a semblance of resilience. His brief moments of freedom, such as going to his son's football game or the occasional family visitation, 